Okay, so the third and final step is arranging our sources of information, right? The websites that we use in that information. And um, that's the top part of those noteback pages that you should still have in your packet. You should not have cut them out yet. The big ones with the big numbers on them, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to arrange them in alphabetical order. We're going to do it on our Works Consulted page first because um, you need all the in, all the citation information in order to do it. And then we're going to put them in the packet in the same order. Okay, so here is a sample Works Consulted page. Um, my, my mock trial research, okay, and here are my uh, sources. I have four of them here. And just to kind of help you see the different sources, this one um, uses uh, livius.org as the website. And so I'm just going to kind of uh, give it a color here, and then this one is Encyclopedia Britannica, and so I'm going to give uh, that one a color, and then this one is Rural Encyclopedia, so I'm going to give that one a color, uh, and I'll leave this one um, black, which is history.com. Okay, so I have my four sources. Now, I need to put them in alphabetical order by the very first letter. Okay, so I have L, C, M, and H. Okay, well C goes first, so I'm going to highlight the entire citation and hit cut, and then come up, hit enter, and then paste. If you, you're going to get the space here, which is fine, but if you don't hit enter, you may end up with them running into each other, um, and you could lose where one site source starts and where one ends. Okay, if you want to do what I'm doing here and color them all um, before you do this, that's fine too. It's not a bad strategy. It's why I'm doing it to help you see. Um, in the end, they'll all have to be black uh, when we print them, but certainly for this uh, exercise, if you find it easier to maybe color each source a different color, that would be fine. So now I have C, L, M, and H. Well, H comes before L, so I have to move this one now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit cut. I'm going to come up, I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to hit paste, okay? And you can see something happened there. So I'm going to hit back, oh, because I got in the wrong place. So there we go. Now I'm on the right line, so hopefully it works out this time for us. There we go. Much, much better. Um, so I have C-H-L-M, that is now correct. Those are in alphabetical order. So now that I know which order I'm going to put them in, I'm doing my Encyclopedia Britannica first, then History.com, then Hannibal Barca uh, at Livius, and then World Encyclopedia, I have to go and find all of the top part of my sources, right? And I'm going to organize them in this same order in my packet. This is the page that I'm going to be pasting them on. So when I cut them out, I'm going to keep the hourglass with the number and the website that I use, and I'm going to put them in the exact same order on here as they were on my Works Consulted page, okay? And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. Now, unfortunately, these aren't the same sources as I had on my Works Consulted page. Um, but they are in alphabetical order based on that first letter, okay? So I have C, C, R, and you'll notice the numbers are all mixed up, 2, 3, and then 1. They're not going to be in number order. They're going to be in alphabetical order uh, to match your Works Consulted page. You only have something like Ancient Rome or Ancient Greece in Rome or Illustrated History of the Roman Empire. Not these because this is a different project but you would have just the website. You would just have the one thing, and you can see how that would be the wrong order, right? It, because it's not the first piece of information. So you'd want to do it on your Works Consulted page first, the typed one, and then just make it match. Put them in that order. You should uh, just glue them on here. You're going to cut them out from the top of your Notefacts page and glue them on here in that same order, and then you'll be fine. So how is this graded? Okay, so let's look at the sources and how we're going to grade that. So if you come down here, a complete alphabetized list of your sources. Um, so that's cutting out the top parts, pasting them in alphabetized order in your packet on that sources page. That gets you a five. 
if you make a mistake in the alphabet alphabetizing of your sources then you would get a four but you were clearly trying to match your works consulted page maybe there's a mistake on that um, you only kind of partially completed it you didn't uh, glue all the tops on only some of them or maybe you put it in numbered order and you didn't really try to alphabetize it that would be a three if you don't do it at all it's a zero so you want to do it I mean do your best cut it out paste it on there um, and uh, certainly uh, a three or a four out of five is far better than a zero okay Okay, so according to our timeline, you have two days to get this part of your research done.